Welcome back to another video for HarborFinancialOnline.com. Today we're going to be talking about the gift tax return form 709 and if you're required to file this return. So let's go through the video slides here. I'm going to explain it to you guys in a way that makes sense and see if you have to file this form. The annual gift tax exclusion allows you to give money to people without having to pay tax on that gift. If you qualify for the exclusion, you can give up to $13,000 to a person and not have to pay tax on it. You must file Form 709 if you give a gift of more than $13,000 to someone. Now, as I go through this video, I want you to see here, our website, harborfinancialonline.com, allows you to prepare your taxes online, and we provide a bunch of information on that site for free that you can go through all the different credits, deductions, every area of tax that's going to allow you to save some money. Now, a husband and wife cannot file a joint gift tax return together. What I mean by this is each one of you have to fill out this form 709. You can't just have one form with both of your names on it, a lot, like a lot of the other tax forms get, that get attached to your tax return. You must file a gift tax return to split gifts with your spouse. What I mean by this, if you guys, if you're married and you're splitting a gift, you're putting in money, he's putting in money, you're splitting that gift, you still each have to file the gift tax return if the money is coming from both of you. So it's better to have the money come from one person um, in that, um, I guess, joint return. The donor is responsible for paying the tax. If the donor doesn't pay the tax, the person receiving the gift has to pay the tax. So. Make sure if you're the donor giving this money out, you pay the tax because you're going to stick that person that got the gift from you with the tax and that's something you probably don't want to happen or you didn't plan on happening and it's kind of a, you know, a bad thing to do in my eyes, I think. If a donor dies before filing a tax return, the donor's executor must file the tax return. So if an individual dies, you're going to have an executor of that estate that person will be required to file their tax return for the gift. Or otherwise, like I said just a minute ago, the person that got the gift then is going to have to pay the tax. So just figure out which way the best, the best way is going to be. You don't have to file a gift tax return if you didn't give more than $13,000 to any donee. What I mean by this is the $13,000 is for each individual you gave a gift to. So you could have 10 people that you gave a gift of 12,000 to each of them and you don't have to file 709 the form. The 13,000 is per person. So just remember that. I want to show you guys form 709 real quick. So I'm going to take you to the form. This is form 709. This gets attached to your normal tax return. Say your 1040. This is going to be part of the return. Again, this is why I recommend doing your tax return online because it's going to ask you the questions and it'll, it'll make the decision if you have to file the gift tax return and this is it. So trying to fill out this form by yourself and determining if you have to fill it out um, can kind of be a tricky, tricky thing to do. So that's why we always recommend electronic tax filing. So you can see the form here. It's pretty lengthy. Uh, there's quite a bit of computations that go into that credit. Into that, I mean, not the credit, but the amount of tax you're going to have to pay. So I'll just show you the four pages to the Form 709. Okay. Now I want to take you guys really quick to harborfinancialonline.com. This is our website. At this website, we offer free information on tax. It's an informational website, and you can use these links to go through and do a quick online estimate of your taxes or prepare your return online. On the left here, you can see we have multiple articles on tax, on different credits, deductions, all the different areas that are going to help you save money and file your tax returns the right way.
Now, I appreciate you watching the video. Um, we have well over 100 videos at YouTube. I recommend you check those out. If you're trying to find more credits, more deductions out there, I cover all those areas. And um, through that website, if there's a specific video topic area you would like me to cover, shoot us an email. We'll put something together for you guys. So we appreciate you watching the video, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.